Ford isn't waiting around for the next-gen overhaul, they're jumping ahead of the curve by planning to test hybrid tech based on an EREV system in their heavy-duty lineup as early as 2026. It's a bold move, especially since HD trucks like the F-250 aren't even shackled by fuel economy regulations. On paper, it might look like a wallet burner for the blue oval, but you can bet the bigwigs have something up their sleeve. Maybe it's performance, maybe it's torque-rich towing, or maybe it's just setting the pace before the competition wakes up. The Ford F-250 Superboost is already making waves, and in our latest video, we break down the pros, the cons, and whether this electrified beast is the real deal or just shock value. EREV stands for Extended Range Electric Vehicles. Think of it like a battery-powered pickup with a built-in backup plan. The vehicle runs primarily on electric power, but uses a small internal combustion engine as a generator to recharge the battery when needed. It doesn't drive the wheels directly like a conventional gas engine would. Instead, it helps extend the truck's range when there's no plug nearby or the job runs longer than expected. Ford's already dipped its toes into electrification with the F-150 Lightning and its Pro Power onboard system. But EREV is a different system. It still leans into the benefits of electric power, instant torque, quiet operation, and on-site power capability, but without fully ditching internal combustion. In a truck like the 2026 Ford F-250, this setup could hit a sweet spot for job site utility and off-grid versatility. This is an odd couple. So far, the heavy-duty segment hasn't rushed into the electrification game, and there's a reason for that. Those big rigs live in a world where payload, torque, and raw durability matter more than fuel economy. They're often running diesel powertrains that deliver over 1,000 pound-feet of twist power and can tow fifth-wheel trailers that weigh as much as a small house. Efficiency just hasn't been the priority. Plus, no federal regulations have been breathing down their necks. At least not until now. Starting in 2027, the EPA is expected to roll out tougher emissions standards specifically targeting heavy-duty trucks. That's going to change the game. Diesel might still have a place, but automakers will need to start thinking beyond the tailpipe. That's where hybrid setups, particularly EREV systems, might start to shine. Around 99% of Super Duty sales go to people who use them for work. We're talking fleets, farms, municipalities, and contractors. The remaining slice goes to folks towing big campers or horse trailers. Fuel economy, not high on their list. What they do care about is reliability and uptime. The truck has to start every morning, no matter the weather. It has to haul, tow, drag, and sometimes plow. It has to be the toughest piece of equipment in the yard. But here's where a hybrid makes sense, not because it sips less fuel, but because it can power stuff. Imagine plugging in a welder, running your tools without a noisy, separate generator, or keeping your trailer powered on a long trip. A truck with EREV capability could do that. The 2026 Ford F-250 is shaping up to be a refresh year, with new tech, some design tweaks, maybe upgraded infotainment, and possibly improved towing assist systems. But a hybrid, that might still be a year or two out. Ford knows this is coming, and it's not a question of if, but when. By the time the 2027 model rolls around, we'll be staring down the barrel of new emission standards. That'll force the conversation, especially if competitors like GM or RAM make early moves. But there's another factor here, politics. The last administration leaned heavily into electrification and emissions cuts. The current leadership has taken a more moderate stance. That could buy heavy-duty trucks a bit more time before they're forced to shift. And let's be honest, there's still a strong market for big engines and diesel grumble, especially in the commercial space. <laughs>